Hey, thinking about upgrading to that new iPhone? Well, before you do, let's make sure that your current one has enough free space so that you can do the upgrade here in just a couple of weeks. iPhone 17 about to be announced. In less than five minutes, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to free up storage on your iOS device. And I know that you're probably out of storage space already. My name is Dan and this is my channel. Um, I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I am in full time ministry. I know that iPhone space or storage in general, whether it's your iPad or your iPhone, it is scarce. I know that your iCloud backup is probably, um, well, at its limit, you keep upgrading. I'm gonna show you just some very basic ways that you can check your device and see where all this stuff is being saved. And if you don't need it, you can start deleting it and start to get on that uh, weight loss program that you've been putting off all summer long. So here's what I need you to do. Grab a piece of paper or a pencil or better yet, open up your notes on your device and start taking down some notes as we walk through five easy ways to get your iPhone space or iPhone storage back in shape. Here's tip number one. All right, first go to settings. That's gonna be that little icon that has a gear with it. Look, I call it the gear box, but it looks like a gear. You're gonna tap on general, and then you're going to tap on iPhone storage next. Now this is, if you will, your control center, and here you'll see what is eating up your space, whether it's apps, photos, messages, or system files. Let me show you. So right here, I'm gonna tap on my system settings, and as you can see, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says general. And under general, the very first thing that you'll see is about software update and iPhone storage. I am running iOS 26 beta, uh, which is, I mean, we're getting really, really close. iPhone has announced that their iPhone event is gonna be happening in the first week of September. That's just in a couple of days. And I'm gonna make sure to watch the event and take uh, and come back and release a video with all the goodies of what software is coming out, what new products may be coming out. Um, but for right now, my iPhone that you're seeing on camera will be slightly different if you're not running iOS 26. But the fundamentals are still there. So again, um, iPhone settings general, I'm gonna tap on uh, the general tab, and then I'm gonna go to iPhone storage. And as you can see here, I actually have a phone that carries 512 gigabytes of storage, right? So it's on the larger side of the hard drive. Um, and Apple gives you a very nice graph there at the very top of your screen that showcases that the majority of my bulk is coming in from applications. Then I have photos, then I have messages, then I have mail, and then I have my iCloud drive. Now what's really, really cool in iOS 26 is that it starts to prompt you already uh, to review large attachments. For example, in my case, I, have, I can save up to eight gigabytes and it says see photos, videos, and attachments taking up storage, storage space in messages and consider deleting them. Now we'll get there and I'll take you through all the different areas where we can go. But then I do have review downloaded media. I have about 84 megabytes there, so not a huge amount. And then I have a couple of applications that are taking up a massive amount of storage space. So here's what I wanna kind of slow down. Tip number one, you need to review what is actually taking up all of your space. I'll get into what iCloud backup does and what the other areas are, but step number one, go to system settings, tap on general, tap on iPhone storage, and see. All right, tip number two, now that we've taken a look at what's taking up all of our space in our iPhone, I want you to start off by and looking at your unused applications. And we're just gonna offload that. iOS will automatically remove apps that you don't use, especially on the regular, but it'll keep their data on your device. So once you reinstall it, it's like you've never deleted it, but there could be some hidden gems here where you are definitely taking up a lot of space. So I'm gonna use my phone as an example, and I'm gonna kind of go down the list. Now I have here a GoPro application, the top one on the list, and it's holding 81 gigabytes of storage on my device. However, as you can see there, it says last use today. I do use this application. As a matter of fact, I was going through and I have videos there from previous vacations, special moments that I treasure with 
the family and the kiddos, and I'm not ready to offload that yet, but that's a great reminder to go back into that application, download that footage, and then offload it to my Mac at home. I can load it to uh, maybe my Google Drive online. I can have a redundancy. I can definitely just remove it from my phone. So it A, brought it back to the surface that I have this app that's kind of on the heavier side, and it'll kind of make me go back and, and refresh that video, kind of, you know, to, to stop saving it, but do something with it. Now, I do have some other ones, like for example, the very next one, Insta360. I love that camera. But as you can see, there's a little cloud symbol there with a little down arrow. That means that I have not opened that application in quite some time. So iOS has automatically offloaded that application. However, it's saving almost 40 gigabytes of storage on my device. That would be a great moment to open up your Insta360 uh, app on your device. It's gonna have to re-download from the App Store. But there you can, again, take a look at the videos or the pictures in this case of what you have on your device. And if you're not using it, delete it, save it, export it, do something with it, but definitely get it off your, off your phone. I'll go through here, I have photos, messages, um, I have a bunch of different applications, but definitely go back and check. For example, here's one CapCut. CapCut's an online video editing, and I know that I do not use that application on my iPhone, and it's holding nearly two and a half gigabytes, right? Almost three gigabytes of storage. So I'm gonna tap on CapCut, and it says there, hey, do you wanna reinstall the app? Do you wanna delete it? It says delete app. This will delete the app and all the related data data from this iPhone, this, this action cannot be undone. I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna hit delete. It's gonna go ahead and ask me, are you sure? It's gonna authenticate. And then just like that, I just gained back two and a half gigabytes on storage. So tip number two, go to your applications and sift through them and see what you don't need and get rid of it. All right, tip number three, let's talk about photos and videos because this will be most likely your number one area to trim the excess uh, fat, the excess uh, storage that you have in there. Now there's something that, that I do wanna clarify. You do have iCloud Photos and what iCloud Photos does, if you have that turned on, every time you take a photo, primarily on your iPhone, let's say that's where we mainly take all of our pictures, that picture is gonna get um, sent up to the cloud so that all your devices have instantaneous or pretty much instantaneous access to that image. Now, there's also a feature that says optimize iPhone storage. What that means is that when you take a picture at full resolution, that heavy file, instead of just sitting there on your phone, it's gonna be sent to your iCloud uh, storage. And on your device, you're gonna keep a much thinner copy of that photo. Now, when the day comes that you wanna edit that picture, maybe you wanna open it up in a third-party application and really get in there and edit, or you wanna print it, or you need just like, you need the full-size image, iCloud will automatically download that image behind the scenes so that when you do need the full-size photo, it's ready at your disposal. However, that doesn't, that'll save you a little bit of space in your device, but it, you're only shifting the weight to your iCloud storage, which means you're gonna have to most likely, you're gonna run out of the free, you know, the free five gigabytes, you're gonna have to maybe upgrade to a, a hundred gigabytes or a terabyte or two terabytes where you pay now on an annual basis. And that's cool if that's what you wanna do, um, but I want you to take a look at what which files are taking up the most space within your photos. So go ahead and open up your photos application and again, I'm running iOS 26, so I may look a little bit different from yours, but this doesn't matter if you're running 26, if you're running uh, iOS 18, or maybe this is you're watching this in the future and we're talking about iOS 27, all of this will still pretty much apply. I'm gonna go to my media types, and if you go there uh, to your collections and scroll all the way down, you'll see media types. And this is where I iOS breaks down all of your pictures and videos according to their media type. I'm gonna show you all the way at the very bottom. I have something called ProRes. If you are using an iPhone uh, Pro, whether it's the iPhone 16 Max Pro or iPhone 15, if, you, if you're using one of the later devices and you have ProRes turned on, pause, let me just explain to you what that is. ProRes, it's a feature that you unlock within your device 
that allows your iPhone to capture its highest resolution, right? The most amount of data coming in through that lens so that you can edit that picture or that video with even greater detail. Now, um, I would maybe say eight out of 10 people do not have this feature turned on. However, you might have accidentally turned it on and not even realized it. But I wanna show you why this is important. So I've left here on ProRes, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I have one file. And this file here is just a very simple video I took one day that I was, that I was uh, grilling. I'll go ahead and play this really quick. Play, it's gonna play some default music there, but as you can see, it's just no big deal. Just a very quick uh, pan shot of the Weber grill. This video is not sponsored by Weber. However, Weber, if you're watching, um, my Weber is uh, pretty old right now. No, um, but I, but I do want to I do want to show you why this is so important. If I go to this image and I just kind of look at the information, this one uh, four second file a video, it's nearly 400 megabytes of storage. To put it in perspective, one gigabyte, it's a thousand megabytes, right? So this is almost half a gigabyte for just a four second video. Do I need this video? I don't need this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash that. Now, even though I trashed it to my trash can, that does not mean that the, fit, the file size, uh, that the file is gone. I will have to go back to my deleted album within my Photos app and clear all those off. Apple does something pretty cool that it kind of, if you delete something, it'll save it in the deleted folder for about 30 days or even longer really, um, just in case you accidentally deleted that or maybe your one of your kiddos accidentally deleted some of the, of the images off your device by mistake. You can always go and recover that. But I wanted to show you a small four second clip of video can take up to 400 megabytes of storage. Now going back to my file types, I also have here raw. In raw I have 2,510 images of my raw pictures. Now raw images, it's again, same concept. You're taking a picture at the highest quality of resolution. And why this matters for us to be going over this, um, iPhone 17 or the next iPhone, if they decide to call it iPhone 17, I, I see everybody online calling it iPhone 17, 17 Pro. That logically makes sense, but Apple really hasn't announced it. So until they do, we just have to wait and see. But there's a lot of rumors that the iPhone camera, it's gonna get bigger, it's gonna get better, it's gonna have maybe more megapixels. Maybe if you buy one of the iPhone um, Pros that has multiple lenses, uh, typically one or two will have those higher resolution lenses. There's rumors that all three are gonna have those higher resolution images, which means files are only gonna get bigger, especially pictures and video. So when you go through your raw file, and I'm actually gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna go into my camera, and I'm just gonna leave this on my desktop here. Um, as you can see there on my top left-hand corner, I have something called HEIC24. Again, iOS 26 may look a little bit different. Um, but that's basically saying that this camera is taking a picture at 24 megapixels. If I tap there, you can see that I can now take a raw image at 48 megapixel. The camera itself is gonna look the same. It's just gonna take a much higher quality image. If you're not, if you're just taking random pictures of food, groceries, stuff that you're gonna be posting on social media, not you don't need the, the raw size, right? If you're taking pictures of your kid's graduation or a special moment, then for sure up the ante to the raw. But make sure that you're not taking raw images without, uh, without knowing and really on purpose. But go through all of these and trim down the fat. Here you're gonna have gigabytes of information uh, stored on your device that you may not even realize. Now, here is a bonus for step number three when we talk about photos and video. All of your images don't have to stay on your device. You can actually, Go back to your home computer, connect your iPhone via a cable, and you can download these pictures and these videos to your Mac, to your PC. Now, you make you gotta make sure that you are backing up these files, right? Or maybe that you're using a third-party um, online cloud storage like Google Drive, right? Like you have iCloud backup. Like you can start to get 
some of these older videos and pictures off, but make sure that you're backing them up so you don't miss these precious moments. Tip number three, dive into your photos and videos. I know it's going to be big. All right, jumping back to number four. Four messages. Now I message and let's don't even get me started on what on WhatsApp. That's another monster. But messages take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna jump right right back here to my system settings. Remember, we were kind of talking about this here in, in our in our previous step. But I'm gonna to go to messages, and as you can see there on my personal device, messages are taking up almost 11 gigabytes, 11 gigawatts of storage space. Now you might be thinking, well, why? People text you, people send you messages, they'll send you videos, you know, memes, all that, all that stuff just continues to collect, collect, and collect. Now here, again, in iOS 26, it'll kind of already start to give you the option to review large attachments. So I can tap here where it says review large attachments, and I can see some of these chats that have large files. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this one over here, April 30th, and there we have, the mighty, mighty blue angels uh, that were flying over us at, at the last air show. Look at that. Blue angels, you guys rock. Um, so now this one text message has this one file. And as you can see there in the top left-hand corner, maybe you can see it, it says ProRes. So this video, not only is it a video file, it's also a ProRes file. Now, what do I want to do with it? Do I want to keep it? Do I want to delete it? Well, I know that I already have this file there, so I can just swiftly, quite quickly swipe across of it, delete it, and now I have deleted that file. And now I'm always going to go to my deleted folder within my Photos app to make sure that it's truly, truly gone. But Messages, it's another secret hiding spot for major, major files. So step number four, check your iMessage and check your WhatsApp. All right, wrapping it up here with number five, I'm gonna talk about, again, reviewing our downloaded media. So right back within system settings, and here we are in iPhone storage, you'll see that I left this one for last. It says review downloaded media, right there kind of in the center of your screen. Um, this is also an area, in my particular case, I don't have anything major or anything big right there. It's only about 84 megabytes, but definitely um, always search this and go in there because a lot of times you'll have something that's halfway downloaded or downloaded incomplete or downloaded, maybe you already used it and, and forgot about it, and it's going to be stored there. In my case, this is a downloaded, downloaded video, but not so much as a video that I took, but something that I downloaded off of an application and it's under my downloaded media. So talk to me, drop me a comment down below. A, if you found stuff that you got rid of and how much space you were able to save. And then B, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you learned. If you learned even one thing, I wanna know what it is because I wanna get you ready for our next iPhone, which is pretty excitingly coming up here in the first week of September. I will watch the keynote, I will take notes, and I'll jump right back onto our channel to tell you if the new iPhone is worth getting or if you should hold off and what's new and what's cool. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing. We passed the 9,000 mark. Woo! I can see the 10,000 mark. Uh, it's going to take a while, but uh, hopefully we'll get there. Peace.